Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for episode 4 in this Let's Play series of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. You join us just at the end of chapter 2, where the brothers have made their way through the mechanical wonderland that was the underground cave and fought a very angry giant. After escaping from them, of course we left the two giant lovebirds in a state of awe and come to this lovely campfire. Of course, if you enjoy this video or have found any of the other videos in this Let's Play series helpful, then please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay tuned and up to date with all my content. So of course, our main aim of this game is to find the water of life for our dying and ailing father. Of course, we've got the two brothers now available and moving around. You can see that we have a burning stick. We've got to make sure that those wolves stay quite far away. But unfortunately, me missing up with the buttons ended up with one of the brothers dying. Clearly not the thing that we want to do. And we can swing the stick to get the wolves away. Oh, and I'm leaving the little brother behind there. Don't want to be doing that. And of course, wolves always try and prey on the weak, prey on the simple-minded, and try and get food while they can. So we're going to have to keep... Get back, evil demon! Get back, wolf! No, oh, there we go. I think that actually worked. Ah, so this is somewhat fun. Of course, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons is a truly unique and visually stunning game. Um, of course, not without its own bad aspects, as you can see there. Um, we've got some people just casually hanging, and this isn't bad for them, like an age 15 game. Definitely touches on some dark notes, and of course the different colours and visual aspects of the game do give it a nice, rich feel. So there we've got some water down by the right hand side. Of course we're just following this path to what appears to be a cemetery. So that's always fun, two kids just running around in a cemetery. Clearly nothing ever goes wrong with that. And uh, do 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 Of course utilizing the mm -hmm. gameplay mechanic where each brother is controlled by a different thumbstick makes it all the more better. And of course with any good bell you just have to ring it. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. We've got the Graveyard Keeper. Who's been ringing my bells? Who is there? Hello, ma'am. Uh, we have a parchment here, and we are trying to find the Water of Life. She was like, go through the graveyard if you dare. I am old, but I look after this graveyard. I clearly have way too much time on my hands <laughs> to think of accents and voices, so I do apologise about that. Of course, if anyone has played Brothers A Tale of Two Sons and found the story as engaging and as fun as I have, or if you believe I'm going to end up killing the brothers at some point <laughs> during this game, then please don't hesitate to uh, leave it in the comments section below. Oh, God. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. Oop. Bye, wolf. So that is what happens uh, when you get stuck between a wolf and a hard place. I'm trying to get the little brother to big brother right about now because we know he's going to drown and a little bit too late there. Unfortunately, of course, little brother does not know how to swim. So that is when big brother, uh, <laughs> that's how I'm going to refer to them as such, little and big brother, needs to get together and help his brother out. So we're just going to make our way back to everything that we've just done, wake the old lady up, and escape from the wolf. When Hadi Ari? Yeah. 
So as you can see, Little Brother is safely on the back and we're just going to ride down this river as safe and as nicely as we possibly can, avoiding most of the rocks. Um, I'm almost sure the game's not going to like us if we hit into that until we get to this lovely, lovely convenient rock just before a big giant fall. Amazingly, the brothers are still okay after this, after being chased by a wolf, spoken to a weird graveyard keeper, and being chucked into a river. They're quite happy just to get out of the way and start running about. Of course, I'm going to keep up my serious tradition of sitting down on every bench that I can find. Of course, this gives a little bit of a pan-out view, as you can see, and lets you explore, in a way, uh, the visual aspects of the particular map or state that you are in and often gives a little bit of an outline of where you're headed, which I absolutely love. So without further ado, we're going to be making our way down this path, and of course, to the other side of the waterfall that uh, we almost went over. Luckily, both our brothers have great upper body strength, being able to shimmy themselves down and around from the branches. There we go, start making those. Whoa! Oh, there, there's, there goes little brother. Oh, crud. And big brother. Of course, he's got to jump in after him. And uh, we're going to have to try and get to him as quickly as possible. Are we going to succeed? Please, 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 please. I don't think so. And... Crud. Oh, thank God. Little brother just barely hanging on, clinging on with his life to that rock. He's like, oh, I thought you were dead. Grab the branch. And he's like, no, I don't want to. It's definitely one of these games that gets you involved with the characters as best as possible. Oh, not, yeah. That didn't seem like fun. Of course. These looks like some really weird tree monsters. <laughs> so, utilizing both the brothers, we've clearly got to make our way through these branch monsters, which again, this is some dark stuff coming from a child-friendly game. We've had suicide, we've had illness, we've had death, and these creepy bloody tree monsters, which I don't like the look of. I'm a fully grown adult. So we're just making our way as slowly but as surely as we can, staying out of the reach for the most part for all of these dreaded tree monsters. I'm sure they may have a name, but tree monsters they are being called, and tree monsters I will continue to call them. And da, 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 da. Oh, well that wasn't very nice. So, of course, being brothers as we are, we're going to get to him as quickly as possible. And uh, it's quite strange actually having to control Big Brother and swim as fast as we possibly can. Come on. Oh, we've got to get up now. Quickly! He's drowning! Big Brother could really go for a lifeguard qualification right about now. Seems to be saving Little Brother's life as much as possible. Oh, I'm almost sure that's not how you do CPR, especially not to a drowning victim, but hey, that seemed to work, so I'm not going to complain. Both our brothers in a unique aspect and ready to continue this epic adventure. So, wasting no time, we're going to carry on through this path and come across a weird-ass statue by the looks of it. Of course, that's what I like about Brothers of Teller Two Sons. It doesn't take itself too seriously. But we have some fun with the unique, vibrant environments, as well as the loving towel between the brothers. This actually looks like a, memorum, uh, a memorandum of our mother who died. Of course, um, she died and little brother was unable to save her, thereby giving him his fear of water and his fear of drowning. Probably why he can't then swim, but uh, of 
course, I think I might be reading too much into this. Big Brother in a dazed state. We should definitely, like, slap him in the face. Our father... This is definitely some kind of hallucination. Because our father's back in the village. But according to this, it's under the woman's hand. So this, uh... This just takes the biscuit, it does. Some kind of hazy... thing. I don't even know what to think or do. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought he was going to help, but he's not. Oh, that's... That's not very nice. Um... Wow. Oh, that was a very, very bad dream. Definitely don't want to be reliving that. We also had some domestic violence there as well. As I said, this is a very violent game that uh, clearly doesn't pull any punches. Mind the pun. It keeps you really intrigued. You see, they're both... Both survived their ordeal, which is absolutely fantastic to see. And of course, with typical Brothers of Teller Two Sons, we're going to crack on with the episode and try and get through this chapter as quickly as possible. Not that we're running through it for any particular reason. Of course, we don't want to be doing that. But we're trying to get through it as nice and as nice as we possibly can. Of course, this is chapter three in the story of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. We're going to see how far this story can go. As I said, this is one of these games that touches on several different aspects. And as you can see, this is just some kind of suicide now. Um, definitely something for the brothers, as young as they are, to go through. Um, well, we saved his life, though we're not really doing much because obviously there is a rope right attached to the tree that uh, he could use again if he really wanted to. He seems fine and he's not dead, which is always a plus side when it comes to games such as this. And of course, without any care or consideration for NPCs, we're just going to continue on down our way and uh, start climbing up the handy mountains that they just decide to give us. Of course, a classical bridge puzzle. That's one thing I do like about Brothers the Tale of Two Sons, that there is all these puzzles that you can go ahead and do. Ooh. And there's uh, switches and levers. And you do often have to think about how each brother interacts with the environment to be able to solve and progress, which is very unique. And definitely something I wasn't expected or expecting from this game. So as you can see there, utilizing the brothers to jump across the windmills to get to the other side to complete the bridge puzzle so we can progress. Absolutely wonderful and helpful for all the right reasons. So the little brother get that bridge across Obviously not putting it all the way, otherwise Big Brother's bridge isn't going to lock onto it. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, nope. Jumped the gun a little bit there. There we go. And pop that out, drop it down, and it's all locked in place. Whew. Of course, anyone following the brothers will know exactly where they've gone. So, in a way, anyone following them will be able to get to the water of life and lead a happy, prosperous, and... Uh, non-illness-induced life. Of course, I see a seat and you know what that means. I'm going to have a little bit of a look at the scenery, and I spy with my little eye a castle sitting on top of a hill. So I'm almost sure that's where we're going to be going, and that's where we're going to continue this epic quest with the two brothers. I'm almost quite amazed by the brothers' sense of agility, and uh, pretty much intrigued by mannerisms, nothing seems to phase them. Of course, they are trying to save their father, but no ledge is too small for them to shimmy across, no branch is no unstable for them to climb across, and they just go operating all these heavy mechanical machineries with no sort of thought about getting injured or anything. A quick consultation with the map is like, right, it says we need to go over here to the castle on the hill. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, the little brother's like, mm, okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's go up there. Let's go to a crazy hilltop location, which looks so much fun and definitely doesn't have a crazy scientist or a crazy madman willing to kill us. But goats, <laughs> they clearly said. What does this game need? Mountain goats. So for once and all through that jesting, the mountain goats were actually quite helpful, allowing us to progress up that steep mountain curve. And, uh... Okay, I was joking about the mad scientist, but clearly this wasn't. And a contraption that's missing a cock, which conveniently he has and isn't able to fix it himself. Unless he's stuck on a platform and he can't climb up. But he looks about the right height. Who knows? So I think what I need to do... Oh, I'm not going to be able to lift him up, am I? I'm clearly looking in completely the wrong direction there. Yes, I definitely was. And catch a little bit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, um, clearly you might need to um, utilize the left and right triggers to be able to chuck it at the brothers. Um, as it was, I pretty much chucked that gear in little brother's face. Unfortunately, we aren't able to go through the ledge with the gear in tow, so it is going to be a, here brother, catch! Boop! <laughs> as it was almost hit him in the face again. Clearly, uh, this is why I'm the youngest child, because um, if I was the oldest, I would be probably chucking mechanical gears at my brothers, too. Okay, so it definitely does seem that he was stuck on a ledge, and instead of thanking us, he's just running away, like a scared, cowardly little man who has loads of gears and cogs and everything else just floating about in his hilltop palace. Not really too sure what we need to do here, but, uh... He's like, can I use this to fly? And he's like, yeah, yeah, why not? You helped me, so have my Da Vinci flying machine. This is a very weird game, just for how, um... able-bodied the NPCs are, at just giving you a hand. They don't question the two kids. They're just like, yeah, hey, go, go off, have fun. You know, you may not even know how to use this flying machine, but you'll soon learn pushing it off a ramp. I really don't trust these. Okay, and it looks like we have shimmy bars, so... Uh, what happens if I try and move them left and right? Oh, okay then. So using the brother's weight... I can use that to navigate left and right or flying straight with the flying machine, so... Okie dokie. 
this doesn't seem too difficult. Just nothing really to avoid just yet. Uh, I've got to make sure that I come into this cave the right way, otherwise I might crash spectacularly. And even though as nice and as funny it was to see me foul and have the brothers get eaten by a wolf, and then another one of the brothers drown, I particularly don't want any more deaths on my conscience today. Um, I definitely don't want the brothers succumbing to uh, fools from great height or smashing into rocks on my account. Ah! And of course, dreaded birds um, destroy this flying machine and I don't know whether I should be going left or right. Am I going to be able to avoid that? That would be a... yes? Yes, just, just barely avoiding it. But I don't think this is going to quite hold up in time. We're coming in for a hard landing and whew, luckily we just got there in time. So it definitely looks like we're going to have to get to that open window in the top right, of course. There's where the brothers come in. They are fantastically able-bodied and apt at climbing, no matter what obstacle is in our way. For some reason the big brother thinks the rope's going to help us. Who knows? A simple bowline. And, uh... We are off. Ah, I think I know what's going to happen. Instead of us constantly jumping between them, I think what's going to happen is using the rope, you're going to use the brothers as sort of a pendulum to be able to hit um, things that we may not have been able to get, but I suppose we'll find that out. So we're going to have to get the brothers to climb. Climb the vines, do do do. And I'm not quite too sure. Whoop! Okay, the little brother had a little bit of a slip. He's fine though, still attached. And, oop, there we go. And, okay. Whoop! Ah, I get it, yes. So I was right, going to have to swing them, utilizing obviously their momentum to get them to the next part. This looks so fun, I've got to admit. Whee! Luckily that didn't go uh, wrong, otherwise Big Brother would have just flown off then into the darkness. And Little Brother, swing. Whee! They have such great fun. Quite dangerous fun, but fun nonetheless. At least this gives an extra element of uh, protection, just in case you accidentally let go with one brother. Um, you are still going to be able to continue, as long as obviously you get the other brother to hold on. You can always swing yourself back into a position. I've got to say, for such a simple con concept, I seem to be enjoying this uh, <laughs> pendulum swing between the brothers quite a lot. Uh, it definitely goes to goes to show that I am a child at heart, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It really does help playing games such as this if you are a child, or at least have some fun. <laughs> I believe this should have some nice somber music. Of course, Brothers Tales of Two Sons does also integrate the music quite nicely as well. It really makes you feel part of them. You're not just a spectator. You are together with them, participating in all their shimmying adventures. I can see this is where it's going to get a bit problematic. You so know these statues are going to fall apart as we go onto them. It is just a classical gaming trope there. And then Little Brother. And big brother. Oh, did say. There we go. Let's keep this up. I don't see why we can't fall from that height. It doesn't look like it would be uh, that damaging to our health, especially not on this last statue. Oh. There we go. Avoiding the statue falling on us, of course. 
and we are at the castle gates. So, <laughs> climbing in tandem, little brother. I accidentally let go of both of them then. I seem a bit silly. Uh, no, I need to get the other side. Clearly need to get the other side. But the rope's not slack enough, so let's try this for a third time. Okay, fourth time's a charm, they often say. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing right about now. I seem just to be making a right pig's ear of this. Um, can I chance it like this? There we go, maybe if I get him to fall. Aha! I could have just done this from the get-go. And swing! Get you to climb up. I'm very surprised by how much upper body strength the little brother has. So the big brother should be able to support little brother's weight, but the other way round? That just seems a bit far-fetched and a bit unlikely to me. But of course it is a game. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be enjoyable. And I'm not going to read too much into it. Of course, if, if you have any thoughts on the situation, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below, or send them to me via a private message. I would uh, very much like to hear your thoughts on this. Likewise, as I said at the beginning, if you have played Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, please don't hesitate to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And tell me what goodies and... Uh, other things, obviously, keeping it as spoiler-free as you can. Uh, let me know what I've got left to look forward to with regards to this. Oop, there we go. And we are in. So based on that quick look and the pan out as we came in, it does appear that we're going to have to save that animal in the cage to be able to progress. Um, Got to say, this is turning into quite a long chapter, so I may cut this into two separate videos. Hopefully you don't mind, but obviously I don't want to keep you in suspense too much with regards to our continued adventures in this fourth episode in this Let's Play series of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. 
continuing our climbing and jumping adventures. We are obviously going to have to get round it. A little brother wasting no time climbing through those bars to get around. And of course climbing across the windowsill. Big Brother's just basically standing still and watching him do it, which I wouldn't say I'd necessarily agree with, but gonna need his weight now to pull him down. Hopefully I can uh, reach up and grab Little Brother's legs. Oh, no. That was completely and utterly my fault. I do apologize, little brother. Um, I was too busy looking at us in a magnifying glass, which is conveniently just on the side of this. Um, I don't even know who lives in this tower, but we're just about to steal his uh, captive animal. Which, uh, I wouldn't even know what you'd call it. It's sort of a... It has wings, so it's got to be some kind of bird. But then it's got like a rat's face. Not that I've seen many rats' faces, but or more like a squirrel. I honestly don't know. I'm so confused. Big Brother just pointing, He's like, no, I must go over there. Grab his legs. There we go, got his legs. And with that, the cage is now up, and we should be able to save this owl thing. I didn't know owls had tails like that. But it seems hurt nonetheless. Of course doing our bit for the uh, NSPCA and going to rescue it from its injured ooh, ouch. Abusive owner. Of course it's going to lend a wing to let us get out of there which is always nice. Unfortunately, it does appear that the bird has died due to exhaustion, which is very sad. And I believe on that sad note, that is where I will end this episode of this Let's Play series of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. If you enjoyed this video, even though we had some sad moments in it, please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes. Thank you very much for watching and as always, have a lovely day.